Hey everybody, this is West Point checking in for another short and simple tutorial. And uh, for this tutorial today, we're going to be looking at mark points. Uh, I was planning on doing one right about now on mark points anyway, but I've also had some uh, questions in the comments and some comments in the comments about, hey, why aren't you using mark points? And uh, also some questions about uh, what happens when you lose your speed, how do you find it, how do you get it back, why did you lose it? Mark points will help out with a lot of that. Um, so this afternoon we're flying over Syria and uh, ask anybody that I fly with, they'll tell you that I really like the Syria map. Uh, it's a good looking map. I really like the detail of all the buildings. Um, makes for a real interesting uh, outing in the A-10. Um, but uh, let's get back and let's uh, let's knock this out about mark points. At least give you some base knowledge on them. Uh, it takes a little bit to explain, so we're going to do it in active pause. So let's uh, active pause. Active pause. Ah, got it on the second try. That's voice attack. I'm not affiliated with them. I just like their product. It's uh, useful and uh, it makes it uh, great for doing tutorials like this. So up ahead of us uh, is Waypoint 1 and Waypoint 1 is the village where we've got uh, some bad guys. And so we're gonna come over here to our targeting pod, make go air to ground, and China hat forward long. Uh, we'll slave it to the uh, mark point. We're going to make it soy and China hat forward short. Uh, we'll take it to narrow and zoom the targeting pod in so we can uh, get a closer look. And so we're going to have a look and see what we've got here. This is where mark point A took us to. Okay. Normally, what we've done in uh, prior videos is uh, we've looked at a, a target and uh, found one made him sensor point of interest or SPI by using uh, TMS up long uh, we could do that with that uh, APC that's right there but uh, we're not going to mark him right now he's not I'm not real worried about him but right here we do have a Shulka, and um, we want to know where that's at because we're, he's going to be one of our kills uh, right off the, right off the start. Maybe not the first one, but he's definitely on the list. Right below the CDU, you have your auxiliary avionics panel, and uh, if you notice, it's got a steer rocker switch, and uh, it's got. Uh, your page switch and it's also got uh, your steer point and uh, we're going to move that to mark and if you look and see we've got it set on mark now and we're going to look at this uh, shulka and rather than making him speed with this in mark point we're going to make him mark point A it climbs through the alphabet uh, all the way up to Z, but Z on the mark points is always the last uh, weapon that you fired. That's where it went, or the, that you were aiming at. So A through Z, and then it'll repeat back over. But anyway, to make him a mark point A, we're going to go TMS right short. And you, you'll see it come up here in the HUD, where right now it's showing mission point basically zero or mission one and you'll also see it come up on the CDU. I like watching the CDU whenever I create a mark point to make sure that it takes and what I mean by that is if I go TMS right short this time it created mark point A. You look up here in the HUD and I've got mark point A and that is this guy right here, that's a Shulka on the targeting pod. The reason I look is sometimes I'm a little quick with my thumb when I hit the TMS rat short. 
uh, it's a little too short or it's too long and it doesn't create a mark point. So I have a habit of always looking down to make sure my mark point has been created. And that's important because your mark points, uh, they're necessary to have if you're, if you're doing this. That's a tank sitting right behind that tree. So we're going to create a mark point for him as well. And we just stack that right on top of mark point A with TMS right short. It created mark B. This didn't change because we haven't changed the uh, mark in the uh, targeting, or rather the heads up display. We've only created one, we haven't selected it. So let's zoom out and look around. There is a bad guy right there. He is going to want us dead. That's an SA-8, and he's most likely going to be our first target. So he will be TMS right to short, Mark C. So we've got Mark A, Mark B, and Mark C. And so what, what's that going to do for us? Let's go to our Dismas page, and like I've always told you before, Make your HUD soy, use your TMS uh, right and left to cycle through your weapons. And I'm selecting my AGM 65H, my Mavericks. And we're going to go to our Mavericks page. And now on the targeting pod, um, we can look at uh, this is Mark C, it's not Mark A, it's Mark C and it's our steer point showing. So when we go forward, a China hat forward long, you notice that it jumped to the Shulka. The Shulka was what we originally selected as mark point A. So using the rocker switch, if I go from A to B, you notice it jumped to the tank, and you saw a little jump on the Maverick then go to C, they both jumped, and uh, now we're on the, uh, the SA-8 over here. So click back down, we can cycle back down through those same mark points, just like we uh, marked them. This is where mark points come in real handy. The other way that you can change your mark points is by making the HUD soy, and you'll see your asterisk, and DMS up and down, A, and it repeats C, B, A. Now if we kill one of these, you'll get a Z mark, and like I said, that's where your last weapon uh, was uh, fired at. So we're going to go ahead and uh, turn off active pause, active pause, and Let's go into altitude and heading hold, and we're on mark point C, which we know is uh, the SA-8, and uh, we're getting nails off of him now, and we've got him in our Maverick also. We want to make sure that uh, we go China Hat forward short to get it zoomed in so we can see it. And we're 14 miles out, and uh, we're going to kill him before he kills us. Let's make sure we've got everything ready. We've got our Maverick selected, and we've got our Maverick soy now. We're just waiting to get inside the range. Remember on your Mavericks, this right up here is your uh, range staple. Uh, you'll see when you're in range with the Maverick, you'll start seeing it come in up here in the HUD. And you'll also see uh, the range staple. Or the, I believe it's also called a queuing solution will come in to, to view here as well. So as we close on him, we're 10 miles out now. And yeah, we've got uh, the range staple coming in. And let's see. He should be an easy lock. TMS up short, 
we get a lock with our Maverick rifle, weapon release on a Maverick, and we're going to break away because I don't want him shooting at me yet. And I'm just going to go into an orbit hold. And we'll follow this Maverick in and uh, see what happens. Uh, but again, th that's the that's the basic uh, use of using your mark points. You could you could mark anything as a mark point. It's this village down below us that I'm looking at right now. Uh, if you placed your targeting pod right over the center of that village because you wanted to know where it was, and you used TMS right short, you're going to create a, a mark point for that village. And uh, that can come in handy uh, for marking a location, just the same as it can for marking a target. But primarily you're going to use the uh, mark points for your targets. And there's our SA-8, and we hit him in the face, and that's the end of the SA-8. So, now we're coming back around, and uh, we're going to back out of it a little bit. And let's come around a little bit harder. Now look in the HUD at the bottom of the HUD. Where it says ARM and then RDY for ready. That is where you want to look because now below it it says TGP. We don't want it on TGP, we want it on steer point. The cure for that is TMS down long. Now we just changed it to a steer point. That means that when we use the rocker switch and we go back to B and we've slaved everything, now we're jumping all three of them again back through our mark points. So that's how you get the most benefit out of using your mark points. And remember the uh, the last point that I just made uh, about the TMS down long to bring your uh, HUD back to steer point rather than on TGP. Uh, you're going to be lost and you're going to be looking for your mark point and going, I just hit that, where did it go? And if you don't look right here and make sure it's on steer point, you're not going to see it. And where did our Shulka go? He's not, he's not at mark point A. Well, when we put that uh, weapon on that SA-8, he decided he didn't like that and he moved. Uh, we've got his general location. It's right next to mark point A. There's not really a good reason to remark him uh, as a target. Uh, we know where he's at. Uh, then we start hunting around and we find new targets and we mark them and uh, if you were to orbit around this uh, little village like we did in the tar prioritization video you could orbit this village uh, at 20,000 feet if you wanted to and you could create a mark point for every target on the ground and just go right back through cycle through the steer points and um, you just take them out one at a time. You could go A through Z if you had that many weapons and uh, all your targets would be marked. If the, if, however, uh, one caveat to that is if the, uh, if the vehicles are set to uh, disperse uh, when under fire, they'll do like uh, the Shulka did on us. They'll move off. And there'll generally be uh, somewhere in the vicinity of where your mark point was. But uh, that's the basics of mark points and how to use them. And um, in the future tutorials that I do on other uh, weapons and uh, other systems, we'll be using mark points so it will help um, uh, drive home the, the principles and steps for using them. Hope this was helpful. Um, again, love the Syria map. If you don't have it, get it. It's a great map. Um, 
it will soak up a lot of uh, RAM. Sometimes it's a little bit slow, but uh, it's well worth it. Uh, everybody uh, enjoy the uh, holidays, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Leave some comments, uh, like, and subscribe. This is West Point checking out.